plan design in this presentations in this classroom we are going to learn on the the major aspects of uh, selection and design features of crushing and grinding equipment basically we will deal with in this classroom we will deal only on crushing and uh, the next subsequent lectures will be followed on the grinding equipment the agenda of this presentation the crusher the types of crushers and their applications the grinding equipment basic grinding and types their importance in mineral processing the selection criteria the differences working principles and power requirements the examples will have some problems at the, at the end of this presentation to to have a uh, the to have a, a problem uh, definitions and working problems so this is what uh, we can overlook the crusher types we already know the crushers the type of crushers the working principles and their importance in the mineral processing in the in your earlier semesters and uh, this uh, the setup i mean the, this page will gives you a brief a brief idea about the type of crushers and the design importance the basically you know the jaw crushers grit crushers and roll crushers they have been majorly used in the mineral processing Uh, for the primary crushing operations the the selection is based on the choice of crusher depends on the type and the amount of material to be crushed and the uh, uh, you you know the garretrin jaw crushers uh, that represents the bulk primary crushers used at the mining operations today although some of the operations use uh, the roll crusher roll impact crushers low speed roll sizers they also called and the feed breakers feeder breakers the cone crusher remains the most popular for fine crushing applications although some mines use vertical impact crushers nowadays these are vertical impact crushers are a more in research field to have a optimum energy efficient and the uh, required product size distributions for treasury and quaternary crushing equipment the crushers are designed on the base of expected throughput here so the design features of any crushing plants is based on the expected throughput what we do the basically they look for the throughput of the equipment Now, uh, throughput, what the plant needs, and the uh, the prime importance of the feed size distributions. What is the top side? We top size of the ore we are feeding to the crushers and desired product. That is, we I represent here the PAT, and the other method that is the crushing methods. So, what type of crushers we are going to have? and the material properties like uh, the bulk density okay and the work index of the ore the work index of the ore as contributing more uh, in the type of crushing and the subsequently in the grinding operations and the bulk density and the abrasion index and the bulk comp uh, compressive strength and the clay content the clay content if the ore becomes more sticky then there may be a chances of you now choking of your jaw crushers or any crushing operations okay and the ore fragmentability the fragmentability of the ore the some ore natures of the, there are different natures of the ore which behaves how it behaves during the fragmentation process that also taken into consideration while designing the crushing plants here i can give you the broad brief idea about the when we use for the primary secondary and tertiary quaternary crushers the type primary we you can see the primary the crusher type maybe you can go for jaw crushing quaternary crusher 
the feed size up to you can go for 60 inches that is 1.5 meters the advantage of having this carrot crushers has uh, much more than the because it is also the energy efficient and the product side we can expect from 150 to 300 mm as well as we can also go the secondary pressures as a cone and hpgr that is high pressure grinding rolls we can also use the feed sizes up to um, 450 mm that is 150 to 450 mm the little uh, the lower size ranges as it is belongs to secondary stage crushing and we can have a product size from 40 to 130 mm so these are the major uh, the ranges the size ranges we are going to have in the market of uh, the selecting the primary and secondary tertiary crushers in the as we come to the tertiary crushers cone crushers and hprg also acts as your the tertiary crushers and we can also have the set uh, feed size from 20 to 150 and we can also have the product size from 5 to 25 and here in this table we can see the type and the hardness abrasion limit the moisture content reduction ratio and the main application the use of this type of crushers these all things you have you might have learned in your earlier classrooms but i'll just brush up the uh, what are the types available and what are their mm, the applicability to the different uh, variation in the nature of the ores so jaw crushers maybe it can be used for the soft to very hard okay and the abrasion there is no limit dry the moisture content maybe the applicants or maybe the industrialist needs to have the dry ore are slightly too wet and not sticky because if it is sticky then it will the material will not the movement of the the solids will not be taken in a proper channel in the crushing zone and the reduction ratio we can expect from 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1 and which is main use in heavy mining quarried the quarry